On this day, 400 years ago, the emperor of China did something very unusual. A foreigner, a man from Italy, had just died, and the emperor allowed him to be buried right in the capital city, and his tomb has survived to this day. On the tomb were inscribed the following words, one who had attained renown for justice and written illustrious books. Who was this man? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the man who was so honored was a Jesuit priest by the name of Matteo Ricci. In 1582, he went as a missionary to China, where he soon discovered that the only way he would be able to preach the gospel was to first become thoroughly acquainted with Chinese civilization and to share the knowledge of the Western world. To that end, he mastered the language and, after translating the works of Confucius into Latin, introduced his writings to Europe. One of his early converts helped him to translate Euclid's Elements of Geometry into Chinese, something that even the Communist Party has acknowledged as having great historical importance. He introduced clocks to the Chinese and created a map which shocked the Chinese because it showed the true size of China in relation to the rest of the world, including the Western Hemisphere. One of five surviving copies of this map was recently purchased by the University of Minnesota Library for one million dollars. Father Ricci, along with the great explorer Marco Polo, are the only Westerners depicted in the Millennium Building in Beijing. The beatification process opened this year for Father Ricci, who once wrote, This life is for us but a journey. We are not here forever nor does our final goal lie here below.